Yeah, so we're out in the 420 Buster, um, and I must say, you know, I'm so incredibly happy with this boat. I've owned a, I've owned a lot of boats uh, in the past. This, I wanted to do something of a comparison between uh, this, Quint, this Quintrex 420 Buster and some of the previous boats I had of, I suppose, similar size. Um, I had a 420 um, Angler Pro at Chaser. Uh, when I bought it, it was just a um, uh, an open hull uh, dory uh, with a 40 horse Suzuki on it, a two stroke. And um, I guess the big difference between the uh, the Angler Pro and uh, the uh, Quintrex 420 is that. Uh, this is still a clinker hull, whereas the Angler Pro 420 uh, is actually a plate hull. And uh, I, I can't remember the exact gauge of the, of the, uh, the thickness of the, of the aluminium, but it was reasonably substantial. It was a pretty solid boat. Size-wise, the, uh, um, the chaser was similar to this, possibly slightly wider, um, but uh, it rode very different uh, from the Quintrex 420. The 420 has got the blade hull which really slices into the wave and it's a really really soft riding hull. Uh, whereas the Angler Pro was um, you know had a fuller bow I think and uh, certainly didn't have the fine entry that this particular craft has.
So what makes this hull so special? The soft ride, it's pretty simple. Yep. The blade hull. A very fine entry and how it slices and deflects the waves away. Providing it lift at the same time. And that's the big difference really <clears throat> in the shape of the hull between the uh, uh, the Quintrex blade hull uh, and um, um, the Angle Pro hull that I had before. Yeah, look the Angle Pro certainly had some other advantages as well. It was a pretty solid boat. The Angler Pro is definitely fuller in the bow. Uh, it was also really um, uh, a, l a bit larger boat. Uh, certainly had more free uh, board than the Quintrex does. And you can even tell uh, by the transom that the shape um, is just different. It's, it's a, it was a deeper boat, slightly beamier. Um, certainly had room for me to add a side console. Um, look, I have seen the uh, Quintrax Busters um, fitted with a, a side console and a center console, but it doesn't really give you a lot of room. Um, but basically, these two boats will, will do the same thing. They're great for creeks. Um, you know, they're good for inshore trips. Um, in, you know, in reasonably, in reasonable weather conditions, let's put it that way. You know, I think once you start getting, you know, uh, uh, over a meter high in chop, things will be a bit different. You probably don't want to be out there in either, either one of them. Uh, but I am pretty sure they will get you home safely if you get caught out. Really, the the main differences, you know, apart from hull width and 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 depth, um, look, they're, they're both really nice boats to operate. They just they they both they just were, you know. But they did have their differences. Um, I think one of the biggest differences is um, this is a you know. Both were 40 horsepower, but the Yamaha is a four-stroke. The um, Suzuki was a brand new two-stroke. A two-stroke. They smell. No matter how good they run and how new they are, they still smell. Um, fuel consumption-wise, well, there's very little comparison, really. Um, the Yamaha, the four-stroke, uh, you know, beats the Suzuki hands down, I reckon. Um, I, you know, I don't do calculations in, t in terms of litres versus, you know, uh, but uh, um, I'm pretty satisfied that um, this little engine over here is pretty frugal in fuel. What's my verdict? It's really hard. Um, they're both easy uh, to, uh, to launch and retrieve. I do like the Yamaha four-stroke a lot better than the um, Suzuki two-stroke, but you know. Um, for Would I go back to the Angler Pro? You know, I wouldn't have any issues in owning another Angler Pro uh, of that size. Um, perhaps with a 50 Yamaha four-stroke, uh, it'd be a bit of a weapon. Thanks for watching. Be safe when you're out there on the water. Um, look after the people that you've got with you. And enjoy the outdoors. We'll catch you later.